Okay everybody, here we are, part two from this morning's look around. Just come over to look at the bulbs, see what bulbs are coming up that we planted last year. Some of them quite late, but they're pretty uh, coming up. I'm looking at a few graves as well, Alice Benny, Alice Mary Benny, died in 1893, age 22. Angels whisper hark. They say sister sh They say sister spirit come away. Oh so in loving memory of Mary Moore the loving wife of late James Moore scripture reader James Moore is then. James Moore, scripture reader of this parish who died in 1898, age 77. Ah, James Moore here. Well, there's one of interest for. I'll stand between the graves here. One of interest, one of my followers. Thomas Ben Hinnick with his parish. Sorry, Rhoda, the beloved wife of Thomas Ben Hinnick, only daughter of Jay Moore, who departed this life in 1878, age 48. Also, in memory of Thomas Ben Hinnick, who fell asleep in Jesus on the 27th day of January 1882 aged 65 years let's get a photograph here's uh, Hannah ah it's Hannah Hannah the beloved wife of James Moore okay I thought it was James I can see that James is next door James Moore was a scripture reader. Does that say scripture reader? Is that Padstow or Pastor? Who died on the 12th day of September 1869, aged 61 years. I'm going to see if that is Pat's door. Pat, Pat. Scripture reader. That's Pat's door, isn't it? Ah, the beloved wife of James Moore. Okay. And here we have James here, James Moore, the late scripture reader of Padstow, yes, I thought it was, in, he died on the 26th of September 1876, aged 69 years, scripture reader, I wonder if he read to the people like, um, uh, like sort of on a not on a, like a pedestal, but like a stand. Would he have gone around just reading scriptures? I don't know, or would it have been in sort of a chapel or somewhere like that? That's interesting. Right, I'll take a picture of that and put it in the pads the group that I'm in. William Williams, Hannah Jane Pinch, Matthew, only son of William Williams and Ellen Williams, died on the 18th of April 1872. Right, folks, we're just going. I'm going to look around now, see if I can find a few bulbs. The grass is kept well down here. The cold's knocked it back. See, we did a good strim up before. 
we finish off the year really. There's another veteran there, another couple of veterans. There's our bench over there that was kindly donated by Trelawney Garden Centre. <coughs> Um, yeah, I know there's a few bulbs put up in here. Yeah, the grass is down for a minute. And as you see, we've got rabbits in here, but we can live with that. Um, yeah, I think give it a couple of weeks and there'll be a lot more bulbs here to see. might eventually then start cleaning up some of the graves it's a big old place you don't realize it when you uh, when it's all this is all totally brambles and stuff like that you don't realize how big it was all right, I think this one come out of William Henry Brabin. This was up in this little this was in this pot I believe. I think it was in there like that. Here you go. There you go, sir. Yeah, it's all looking fairly good here, guys. It's about the only time of the year you can get a real... See these? The butterflies were loving these last year. So they would have self-seeded and all that. Lots of self-seeded stuff here. Can have a real, a real good sort of look around now. Philip Douglas Stone. He fell asleep in 1936, aged 27 years. Also in memory of Lionel W. T. Stone, was called home at. Palmerston North New Zealand Palmerston North New Zealand called home I wonder if he was a veteran then could be of interest to that I'll take a photograph died in June 1938 aged 34 years possible possible veteran so we'll have to uh, I can take a cross from one place that was not a veteran. Hello, all right? It's all right. Yeah, this one has come from over here, so I'm going to shove this one on the head for a minute, folks. I'll say bye for now.